cameras on because I'm back in town with my girl and I haven't been at it. Hold on. This is this is ghetto and and live in color action because I just decided, oh, let me get the cameras on. <laughs> Wait a minute, guys. Hold on. Bear with me. So, I've been gone. And uh, there we go. It's just a long day for the people. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Okay. So, come on. Y'all remember Rhonda. Let me stop giving her government name out. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but I always love talking with her. Because she's just a professional client. Like, you know, I'm a professional stylist. But Rhonda is a professional client. So, <laughs> she knows, like, too many details. <laughs> She'd be like, oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, she does. She'd be like, I want waves. I want this. I want that. So, anyway, she hit me up. She was like, Keisha, I'm not playing. So I'm no, I don't have no hair appointments. Please do not ask me for no. I don't. I really don't. I, <laughs> I, I got to do some hair because I do teach an online hair school. Okay, so um, I want y'all to know the grind is relentless. Like your girl been up since like four a.m. and it is seven thirty here in California. But I wanted to just show you guys. Let me get these cameras right. The importance of just stuff. Hair care. I don't know, hell. I just said I'm going to cut the cameras on. <laughs> because I love when Rhonda come in because she just knows so much. I love to be here. And she, <laughs> yay. And, you know, we always have great conversations on what we're looking for, what the client is looking for. And I love, remember, if you read my book, get my book on Amazon.com, The CEO Stylist. If you read my book, I talk about doing market research with the client. And it sounds really fancy, but all I do is say, hey, girl, what you like? <laughs> and she tells me. She's like, Keisha, why? She was just talking. You said, why does the, the haircut look like it's from the 80s or whatever? Like, she does not want to look outdated. Your customers want you to educate them, okay? They want you to... Make them look sexy. She has a, a photo. She's taking a picture. She's getting an award. She's a professional working woman. So she won't look like she's from, you know, one of them 90s movies. Mm -mm. <laughs> Baps. Um, old yearbook. Mm -mm. Ah, not the yearbook. Not the yearbook, Rhonda. So, Rhonda, what do you like for your short? What do you look for in short hair? You know, I like healthy short hair. So I don't want my hair to look hard and brittle i want it to look short with a lot of life mm, short with a lot of life mm -hmm. so when you're looking through instagram because Rhonda y'all is an ideal customer Rhonda pays ahead of time on time all the time she tip extra she brings some chips too like she <laughs> I'm impromptu right now. I'm impromptu, so I got to set up some equipment. Equipment. If you guys have questions, let me know. For those of you who are already in my CEO mastermind, I mean, not CEO, Jesus Christ, wrong class. For those of you who are in my uh, short hair boot camp class, hey, y'all. I'm just sharing the knowledge. Some of y'all say I give away too much. I think it's funny <laughs> because it pays me. But anyway, oh me and my light don't work no more. Oh, there you go. There we go. We got some more light. I'm trying to get y'all some light. So anyway, I just thought it'd be cool to cut the camera on as I work. Hold on, girl. This is real ghetto, y'all. Watch me knock over something. Look at that. As I work, I thought it'd be cool to cut the camera on. So you guys could just, you know, look and learn. People be charging $500 for look and learn. <laughs> I just knocked over a guitar. Anyway. I'm going to set this up for y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Gotta pull out equipment. I probably should have did this beforehand, but oh well. This is not some super polished situation. This is just me wanting to share with my crew. Me and you, your mama. Do y'all remember this one? Cousins too. It's after hours. I'm about to do this cut and I thought, hmm, somebody may want to learn this. So I guess I'll just cut on the camera. Now, Rhonda, what are you looking for in your haircut right now? You know, I just want my hair to be, I don't want, you know what you do to my hair. I don't even no, know you got to tell the people. Because I really don't have to tell you because I trust you. You've been doing my hair for a long time and you know what I like. <laughs> <laughs> this is not fair to the viewers. If you was going to a new stylist, what would you say? You know what I'll say? You know, I'll have to look through some magazines and put something out or get something on See, y'all, she's so high maintenance. Or... <laughs> this is foolishness. Just high maintenance. I just... want my hair just just nice and short. And I want it to look healthy. There we go. Yeah. So, for the look, she has a picture. Because she didn't really know what she wanted to look like, I was like, what's the reaction you want from people? Like, do you want them to be like, girl, oh my God. Or do you want them I to them say, who cut your hair? Like, yeah, what's the focus? Is it the curls? Is it the waves? Do you want some spikes? Do you want to look spunky? Like, what's the focus? So, she don't know the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> but I figured... You know, because if I wear spikes this week, I can wear, you know, curly the next week. So, first thing I'm going to do is section off. Now, listen, when you get ready to cut someone's hair... You got to pay attention to their head shape. Rhonda has a wider, uh, what is this called? I forgot. I'm having a brain fart. I think this is a parietal ridge. She, so it's lower and it kind of sticks out just a little bit. So, and it's not a bad thing, Rhonda. Now, I was like, okay. No, as hairdressers, you got to know this thing because if I take her part and I decide to part on top of her bone, when I get done with her haircut, her hair's gonna look weird. And we're not, she's not gonna know why. She just gonna know she don't like her hair. But what, <laughs> what I know is that because her head shape, she has her, right where that bone drops off, you wanna do, take that horseshoe parting right underneath. So I'm just gonna take my comb, follow it all the way through, right underneath the bone. I'm gonna make a clean, smooth part. And I just kinda, when I'm cutting wet, I just wanted to take some of the weight off before I mold her hair. And so, I just took a nice little part right there, and I'm going to, in the back, take that parting a little further back, kind of like a mohawk, okay? But not really. So, it's just right below, this is the crown. You want to take it about two inches below the crown. Do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to follow the her head shape. It's very important to cut your client's hair according to their head shape because a lot of times you'll look at a picture and do a haircut and then you're like, wait, what happened? Why doesn't it look as cute? Because that person's head is shaped differently. That's very, very, very important. So I am going to, hold on. Now that I have her hair parted off, I'm just going to go through, start in the back. There we go. I'm going to start in the back. And I'm just going to take, um, this is literally going to be just a 90 degree cut. Y'all, I live by 90 degrees. I don't know what y'all be trying to reinvent the wheel. It just ain't that serious. It's not that serious. All you got to do is do what works. Trying to take their light out y'all eye. There we go. So I'm gonna start at the back and I'm just gonna take a middle section all the way down the center, okay? Vertical parting, straight down. Take another vertical parting. Take it straight down. I know I'm holding my scissors wrong, shears wrong for all those over professional people who want to be technical. I'm not the teacher who gives gets into terminology like that because I don't know I just care about making sure my outcome is the way I want it so I'm just gonna take a vertical section going down and I'm gonna cut 
straight up 90 degrees, which means I'm going to hold this hair 90 degrees from her head shape straight out, okay? Straight out, straight out, straight out. Straight out from the head. Y'all see that? 90 degrees straight out from the head. Straight out. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to cut. Okay? And I'm going to follow that guideline all the way down. The hair is wet, so when you pull it out, make sure you loosen up your fingers a little bit. Because when you pull wet hair, it basically will shrink just a little bit. We're going to cut. I'm going to cut this exact thing all the way around, all the way around, okay? So, while I'm cutting, hi from Chicago, hey. Hey, Lakeisha, did you upload the video from this morning to SHBL? No, Cynthia, it's still processing. It's not up yet. Don't worry. Hey, guys, so true. If you can do a solid 90, you're winning. Exactly. Like, 90 degrees is where it's at. So I thought I would just cut the camera on and talk to my short hair people about um, my short hair process because I get so many questions uh, about it. But I'm going to just go over some. Let me give you guys three things that I noticed people with short hair are doing that are in my group that, um, you know, they're trying to get these different looks that are really, really popular. I'm going to just give you guys three things. Okay, you guys ready? Make sure you get your pins out. Get your pins out. Class time. I'm rushing through this because, I mean, I really wasn't trying to do no long, detailed class. If you want super detail, you could just sign up at shorthairbootcamplive.com. But three things, three things I see people do is when you're doing your cut, you have to literally... Make sure that you're working in a small enough section. It's so simple. And like I told y'all this morning, if you were with me this morning, I was teaching to you guys this morning, we always know the simple stuff, but yet we don't do it. And I don't know about y'all, but my mama told me that all the time. You say you know, but you still went and did the wrong thing. <laughs> like, it's literally that thing. It's so simple to take your time and work within your section. Just take your time. And so, for whatever reason, we just want to grab big old chunks of hair. And then we like, why the haircut not laying right? Why doesn't it look as smooth? Why isn't it flowing with the head shape? It's because we're not taking small enough sections. I'm working with a traveling guideline. Which means that I'm taking a little piece from my previously cut section. And I'm taking the new piece and making them, uh oh, blend together. So I'm just gonna go through, and I'm just outlining right now. Whenever her hair dries, whenever her hair dries, I'll go back through and I'll go back through. And really clean this up but right now I just wanted to get a, a, a detail like a I'm sorry not a detail just an overview and just get the look in so that when I molded her hair lays properly okay so that's basically what I'm doing guys it pays you to stay up on new education new technology because the more you know the more your pockets will grow. So, back to the three things. Not taking small enough sections, and then products. Like, for some reason, stylists try to skip that part. You at Sally's, or you at, you know, I don't know, the Asian beauty supply using products, instead of investing in quality products, that will get the hair super, super healthy. Like, it's one thing to have a nice style. You don't want your client hair to only look good when they, um, when they just come from you. I mean, I don't want my, I want my client to be popping at all times. 
whether she did her hair or I did her hair or somebody else had to curl her hair because I'm in out the country. Like I need all moments to be fly. Pause. When I get right above the ear in this area from the top of the ear forward, I like to leave that um, because most people have a thinner section here. So you don't wanna just go in while the hair is wet and start super, super cutting. You can give your outline so like I know I'll cut a little bit of this and pull it back, pull it back so that it just remains longer in the front. You want to pull that back, but two inches above the hairline, stop, stop right at two inches because I just want to basically keep that full because most clients want the waves and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to go in and texturize the haircut, point cut, 90 degree, all of that stuff. But for right now, I just want the hair nice so that I can mold it um, without having any issues. So I'm just kind of saving that because that's my favorite part. That really outlines the hair. This is a very important section. Do not go ham. You're moving so fast that you just cut off this person's edges because if they want the modern look, which is the Holly Berry look, where she has the waves here, even if she's getting a pixie, even if she's getting a mohawk, even if she's getting the baby boot, whatever the style is, you do not want to go and tear that up. Do not take, well, I ain't gonna say do not, cause that may be what you like. But a lot of people go here and they get some clippers. Where them clippers at? <laughs> Rhonda, talk to them about the clippers. Yeah. Don't Rhonda. be in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> Rhonda will be so mad at me. My That's clients so, like, hate no, when people wanna just use clippers to do a haircut, unless that's the intention, unless it's an intentional cut that's with like clippers. Cut. It looks like a man. I'm telling y'all, Usher wrote it. When Usher wrote that in that magazine, I was done. He said, I'm tired of y'all neck looking like mine. <laughs> Usher said this in a magazine. <laughs> y'all do not be giving these women, these are not on, but taking the clippers and then just boom, boom. And then the person's sideburns come way up. That's like, ooh, where's the finesse, honey? We want the hair to have finesse and zhuzh and sass and stuff. You might as well go to a barbershop, right? You might as well go to a barbershop. So true. If you can do a 90. Um, Marjorie Patterson says, you're so inspirational. And God's Children, one of your videos I watched today, Talk to My Spirit. Oh, I love it. I wish I was the same town. I could get one-on-one -on -one training. Tried to say chosen one. Oh, thank you. Wow, thank you. But I'm going to keep looking and learning because your training, if applied, will draw clients and money will be made. Amen. Somebody called me today and was like, I've been watching you forever and you've given me so much value. Y'all, I don't do this just like take this stuff and do some work. Back to what I was saying. Do not clip or cut unless that's what your clients like. But I'm going to tell you, most clients don't like it, but y'all doing it so they just stuck with it. <laughs> How about you invite them? To the finesse side honey give them some finesse bruno mars got a song called finesse homework listen to finesse dripping and finesse uh it don't make no sense because we're dripping and finesse that's a song anyway i'm gonna go to the other side and do this side real quick like guys so number one was not taking small enough sections so that you can actually see what you're doing and have a nice, clean, classy cut. Like you want your haircut to hug your client's head. Like no matter how they, the wind blow, no matter how, um, just no matter what happens, you want their hair to look amazing. And so that happens because you are taking the time to break down the cut. Some of like, I'm gonna tell you something, especially with black hair shows. Ooh, it get on my nerves, that's why I don't go to a lot of them. I'm sorry to say that, but that's just how it is. It be so much hype and you cutting and you and we why do we do that? That is not I did not pay all this money to come to the show and we cutting. Mm, mm, and we dancing and the model dancing. Dance a little bit around the movie head. Mm, and we doing this and everybody that's so stupid. That we, what the if you're a stylist and you're watching all that jumping around, when you get done and you get home, what do you do? You literally be like, oh, I'm motivated, I'm inspired. Then you go do the haircut. What you gonna do, twerk on the client? Cause that show ain't gonna get you no soft edges. So, back to what I was saying. 
make sure this is after hours y'all this is not no professional well i mean this is amazing value but i'm not trying to be <laughs> anything other than <laughs> i just turned on the camera <laughs> so i'm just saying y'all stylists got to start y'all really could help so much if y'all start you know buying stuff that's worth buying anyway make sure you have clean sections so that you can see you want the haircut to hug the head you don't want to be one of those stylists that hide behind razor cuts because, oh, they just edgy. No, it's because you really can't do a clean. I can do a razor cut or I can take my time and cut the heck out of this hair. So much so that it's just, it's just insane. My clients are addicted to the way I cut hair. Because most stylists are not paying attention and they're doing clipper cutting people edges off, taking away people's sideburns. Like, it's just a lot. Rhonda, you can input it anytime. Rhonda be having so much to say when the camera ain't on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm letting you do all the talking. But people want to hear from a client. So I'm going to give you three things, and then Rhonda, I want you to give at least two things that about your salon experience. Ooh, that's going to be good. Like, what What have been some horror stories? We'll get to that. Okay, so one, make sure you have good sections, clean sections, so that you can see and have a haircut that hugs the head. Right now, I'm just doing a 90 degree, just like I did on the left side. And two, wait, what was number two? Two. I forgot. Just tell them, don't put a lot of hairspray on people's <laughs> hair and then curl it so that the curl is like crispy. <laughs> well, there you go. You heard it from the client. All my clients say that. Do not spray every piece of the client's hair. It's so annoying when you're spraying every piece of the client's hair. And the hair crunchy. Like, then they just screw. They like got crunchy hair. Uniform curls where they all just... Row by row by row. Rhonda, Rhonda said, don't do her no row by row. Rhonda, you sure you don't like that? <laughs> Are you sure? Mm -hmm. So, listen. Um, no row by row curls. No clipper cut. Like, I mean, you can clipper cut if that's what your client likes. Some people just really want row by row and clipper cuts. That's a different clientele. These new divas that want to be in your chair and pay you by the month and bring some snacks. They don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> and they bring you some snacks. Okay, so guys, I just cut that right side. Here's num my number three. I know what that was. My number three tip for you guys is you need to be able to time everything. Like everything needs, I know how long it takes me to do. I can do a haircut and it's precise and it's bomb and I move quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna cross check. I cut this vertically, so I'm gonna go up this way and I'm gonna cross check. I gotta turn this around because I can't see. So I'm just cross checking to see if I see anything that's sticking out. You can literally take the hair and just go up and see like what you see. You can be, and I be playing. See, like once you know all the rules, you really can play. Because I like to take vertical lines, not just horizontal lines. I like to take vertical lines, horizontal lines, and really make the cut so custom to the person. Mm. So now, a lot of you guys ask me this question all the time. How do I blend the back with the top? Guys, the way you blend it is literally, I'm not going to get, I got to, we got to get up out of here, so I'm just going <laughs> to. But the way you blend it is taking a piece from the middle. The horseshoe section, take a piece from there and, and literally all you gotta do is comb it down into the section that you just cut. And you literally, I see my guide and I can just cut. So now I have a guideline. So right here, if I literally just take this, now I, I know that all my hair, I'm just notching point cutting. I know that, and, this, and these are just tricks now y'all. Stay right there. I know that if I just take a vertical line down the center of the head now, of course I would do this way more detail, but I'm about to break some rules because I know her hair is already cut from my last haircut. And I'm just creating my guideline. So no matter what happens, I have a, a piece of hair that's gonna be my guide. This is my traveling guideline. So now, all I gotta do, I know this is my shortest piece. I can bring everything back to this no matter where I am on the head shape. Guys, this is what 
makes haircutting fun for me. Because once you know how to like super cut, I can take this whole section on a diagonal. But because I have that little guide, I just cut it. I see my shortest piece. And now I know I'm just going to cut. And I'm. this is not, again, this is not, I'm just breaking rules now. Because I want you to know that when, that once you know the rules, you can really start to create some stuff. But when you blend, uh oh, turn around this way. When you blend the back with the front, look, it already looked cute. I haven't done nothing. But because I know that my show, I'm never gonna be lost. I'm never gonna not know how to connect the back and the front because I just created this guide. So now, if I just comb all this out, because some of y'all be getting lost and caught up on technicalities, that's why I really don't like teaching on so many rules because I need you to just know how to flow through any part of the haircut, any part. Now, if I just take a part down the center of the head, find me a little piece, the same section down the center of the head. Because I made that guideline, hold your hand back, real dramatic. So there's my center piece, right? Remember that short piece I cut? It's right here. So all I gotta do is take a piece of that section, take that short piece, lean it back. I see my shortest piece. I see my shortest piece. And I'm going, uh oh, wait, I'm trying to get both cameras. Now, I can just work backwards. And depending on, all I did was cut from long to short to blend it out. So depending on how she wanted, if she wants full pixie, I would literally just cut it super, super short. I would cut all of this to that shortest piece. But I know she wants to keep the top kind of full, so I'm gonna lean everything back and just bring it back to this section, okay? I'm going fast. If you want the details, go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. <laughs> they said Rhonda is like, no thanks, I don't want to. What you say you don't want to do, Rhonda? <laughs> No, the crispy curls. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, the crispy curls. No crispy curls, just crispy creams. So listen. <laughs> Let me tell you how cool short hair is. I cut that short piece. I'm such a. I like. I like the play. I literally am not scared to go like this. When you know the rules, like I can take all horizontal sections and create a bomb haircut. I've done it so many. There's a cut in the short hair boot camp class called. Uh, horizontal something. They see me on live. God dang it. I know you see me on live. That's so ghetto. So, <laughs> look. I can take horizontal sections. I can bring everything back to this right here. Watch this. That is so irritating. I hope she's watching this. That is so annoying. Anyway, sorry y'all. I'm bringing everything down to a horizontal line. This is what happens when you understand the head shape. I'm not scared because I know what I'm gonna be doing. And it's so cute. And I know she wanna keep her front long. That cut already looking bomb. I ain't even, I'm not even done. I'm just outlining. So I know y'all can't see because her hair went. The moral of the story is you need to know how to cut hair inside and out. Because, and you need your haircut should be cute in whatever direction the wind blow. Some people hairstyles only look good when you style it. That's not a bomb haircut. That's not fair to the client. Not fair at all. Okay, so back to my tips. Cause I'm not, I'm not talking y'all through this whole haircut cause we gotta go. We got things to do. But I thought it'd be cool to just turn the camera on and watch me at work, watch me at work. And if you want super, super detail, you can just sign up for Short Hair Bootcamp. Shorthairbootcamplive.com. I like teaching live, y'all, it's so fun. All I'm doing is point cutting. I'm about to come to a stopping point because I really just wanted to get the shell of her hair. I know that we want spikes in the top back area and we want, let me make sure you can see. 
Yikes. Make sure y'all can see back there. Hold on. There we go. I just wanted to kind of bust through like all that length. She had, first of all, she took the shears and cut the back of her hair. That's for everybody. <laughs> Guilty. It was too long. And her hair was long and I was out the country, so she just decided to cut her own hair. And like it was on my neck. No excuse. Y'all, but you should be able to event when you master haircutting, it's so funny how people call themselves a master. I'm not one of them stylists be like, I'm a master stylist. Who gives just a title? I'm so not attached to titles. What I'm a master at is getting my coins. Ain't nobody worry about nothing else. You can call me what you want. Hairstylist, singer, I don't care. So, anyway, <laughs> the whole point <laughs> is I want you guys to be able to really know how to cut hair in any direction. So, one, I want you to cut in sections. You want to have sections when you cut hair because clean sections is key because that's going to um allow your cut to hug their head i wish y'all could see like it's so cute and we're not even done and i can just already see how it's gonna shape up it's gonna be spiky she's been saying she want to grow her bang out for the longest so today time. i know this chair <laughs> turn this up. every time she get in the chair she changed her mind so i'm like what you think i'm like i don't know <laughs> this is what you said you want to do so we'll see what we're gonna create but notice, so when I cut wet, I just want to make sure that the back is down because the mold in the back is extremely important. So I want to make sure that it's short enough. I'm still going to go through and point cut and texturize this cut so that it lays really, really, really well. But I wanted to make sure um, I don't go into the sides because I want to make, I want that to be perfect. I don't want to mess with that. I want that to be perfect. So I cut the sides and texturize that when it's dry, just because that's what I like. I could do it wet, but I don't want to. And what else? Don't cut the sideburns off while it's wet. Like, my focus here was just getting the hair out, getting the, the weight off the back because it was so long. And I know in her pictures, I want that to just look like baby hair. <laughs> and we gotta, so we're gonna take off this part and we're gonna leave this long and she's, we're gonna see if she grows it out. So I'll blend more, I'll cut more, but for now, I just need to get some of that length off the top. I mean, some off the back. So that's exciting. Let me see. Do your thing, professor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I can relate. Shy, but shy money doesn't make money. We have to get out that shy box. This woman is brilliant. Thank you. I'm watching, sis. You better teach. Hey guys, what's up y'all kicking it with me tonight? What's up, everybody? So, I'm just online. I, I have no real goal for this video. I can cut to a T, but my styling is kind of blah. So, and that's the thing. Like, guys, today when I was teaching my short hair course, it was all about mastering each level of your short hair cutting because there's multiple levels. And while some people say they're mastering a lot of stuff, you got to literally get really clear on the areas that you need to improve on. And just focus on that. Don't focus on no Instagram pictures. Don't focus on what your neighbor doing. Don't focus on anything other than getting clear on what areas you have breakdowns in. So for that person who said that, you want your styling to be better. That's great. So, So the way that you can make your styling better, first you gotta have a goal, have a plan. What part of the styling is the hard part? So for me, when there's something I wanna add to my business or improve, I look at where am I good, where, where am I having breakdowns? What makes me think that my styling isn't where it needs to be? So. Hey, where's my setting lotion? Hmm. Oh, shit. I don't know my setting lotion is. That's annoying. Uh, I normally use setting lotion, but I'm gonna use water. That was Influence Foam Wrap. I normally use setting lotion. I love their setting lotion. I'm so sad, I don't know where it is. 
So first thing about my mold that is very important that I OCD about, and I just can't stand when I see somebody picture, but the person look bald on the edges. Cause like my edges will look bald. Trust me, they will look bald if I didn't mold my hair properly. The mold is very important. You can take somebody with no edges and make them look like there is fullness in the land. And it's plenty, honey. If you read the Bible, you know where I got that from. If you don't read the Bible, you a heathen. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But um, one thing you want to do is what this is what I call the valentine. You want to make sure that that person's edges are full. So the guideline is going to be three quarters of an eyebrow. Sometimes it takes three quarters from this area and this area to give you your your guideline, your key working area. So when you look at your client head shape from this angle, and if I stand right here, this is still three quarters of her eyebrow. So when I take that those two angles and I go like this, make sure that area is now bald looking. How do we do that? We just close the gap. We just close the gap. So before you get into waving and all the other stuff, make sure that you are aware of your client's edges and you close the gap. And so I, I, I always go there first because I want my clients here, no matter how thin or full, whatever, I want everybody to have edges. Hashtag save the edges. So I'm going to just give her a little juice, a little wave. I can't find my set lotion, it's irritating. I like my set lotion because it makes the hair so fluid and shiny. And I don't know where it is because I relaxed my hair the other day and then I'm gonna die. I burnt my scalp to death. Oh, Ron, girl, I burnt myself. Burnt oh, here it is. Yes, I burnt myself so bad with my relaxer. I was just screaming for like five minutes and it was so funny. I wish I could have turned my camera on because it was so funny. I had to laugh at myself. What did you do? Fall asleep? How did you do No, that? I just, I washed my, I, so I had shampooed my hair like three days before. Um, you don't, that's, that's a no, no. So. So still tender. Oh my God. My scalp was raw. Everything I had. <laughs> Well, your hair looks good. Thanks. Listen, I had took a so I, I I put the relax on my hair. I washed it out. It was burning. You know, whatever. It was it was the typical burn. So I wasn't I wasn't tripping. <laughs> then this comb is burnt. Hold on. My comb is burnt. So then I decided to go take a shower. So I go take a shower. So my hair was kind of like dried a little bit so then i put the phone wrap on it like i always do Ooh, baby i was on fire it was like i literally could just start saying my life so <laughs> <laughs> ah! at least you still have hair girl my scalp was on off. the phone wrap had me on blaze do you hear me i was burning so bad and i just had to laugh at myself because it was like five minutes and i just was running around the house like this <sighs> <laughs> and then my scalp, my skin, my scalp, I was like this. <sighs> like it hurt so bad. So the whole time I was molding my hair, it was like, <sighs> it was, it just hurt. Oh shit, it hurt. It, excuse my curse word. It hurt so bad. <laughs> it hurt so bad. I was like, for real, Michelle, this is what you do by yourself, run around the house, burnt. Oh man, you couldn't have had a better laughing story. If, if somebody was here, they would have been on the floor because. I didn't. I wasn't expecting it. So when it when it got on my hair, I was like, ah! <laughs> it, was, it was crazy. Ooh, it was crazy. So anyway, my scalp was burning the other day. So when I picked up the setting lotion, it just reminded me of the horror. So I'm just going in and putting some pretty ocean waves. Big. Fluid waves. Having some fun. She got pictures to take, so I want to make sure that she is like popping. 
I'm not trying to be super perfect. I just want the the zhuzh to be a maze. Guys, make sure that you're giving your clients protein treatments. Make sure that their hair has relaxers. Make sure that their hair, turn around this way. Make sure that their hair has um, just sheen. A lot of times we think sheen comes from some oil sheen. And wrong. Sheen comes from your healthy hair. So if your client's hair is not shiny from the inside out first, that's my first area. Like I could care less about a product, some oil sheen. I need to be into the hair follicle. I like my shine to come from the deep side, honey. Deep. Hmm. Anything else is extra. If I get some shine from some oil sheen, that's cool. But I love when my clients get their hair done, they get a product, they, I mean, they get a, a protein treatment and they're like, ooh, right after, while the hair's still wet, they're like, oh my God, my hair feels amazing. And I'm like, I know, like, psh, I, I can't even, like, I just know, like, it's insane. So you want to make sure that you're providing, you know, using top-notch products. I just don't think that anything at the Asian store, I'm not trying to be funny, but... They have a, if your hair is not fluid the way you like, use the foam, the setting lotion. I love the setting lotion because it makes the hair shiny, shinier. I don't burn all my combs. My teeth of my combs are burnt. So what's happening is, I don't mean curl. Yeah, like, <laughs> I need to buy new combs. So, hold on, y'all. So, back to you. Shine has to come from the inside. So, I recommend Influence. I love them. I wish they paid me to promote them the way that I promote them. Maybe I need to strike up that conversation. But in the meantime, go to their website because it's just an amazing product line. And my end result, I just want people to have healthy hair. And I think it's unfair that clients don't get to experience. My clients, I'm not even trying to be funny, but my clients be having some bomb. Like, their hair be so healthy. Like, they just have amazing, like, everything. Because I just don't take for granted or take lightly, um, you know, the products that I purchase and use for their hair. And notice I'm not using a lot of product at the top. I don't, there's no need for it. I'm just putting just enough so that the hair cannot have frizz on the tips. If you don't, if you don't put a lot of foam at the top of your client's hair, that's fine. But you don't, you want to make sure the, hair, the tips of the hair is not frizzy because the frizz will just look raggedy and nappy. So... This is going to be cut, so that's why that's looking like that. This camera is so bright. I want you guys to see. So, so whatever you use on my hair makes my hair seem like a different braid. Yes. Even, it look, do it look Indian? I have to look like something. <laughs> <laughs> so, look. So, I'm messing around with this. This is not going to, we don't, I don't think we're keeping your sideburns that long. I don't know, you, you know like, that was the part I cut you. No, it's like a block right there. Anyway, I took this she just be messing with stuff. So, <laughs> so you guys, anyway, I just molded her hair. I kept this part out because my key focus in the front part of someone's hair is going to be, um, it's going to be, how did it look like that? It's going to be the three quarters of an eyebrow area. You want to make sure that that area is focused and closed. So if she turns to the side, it doesn't look bald. Turn to the other side, it doesn't look bald. I see so many pictures on the internet where y'all are airbrushing the hell out of people's edges, trying to make it look like they have hair and like your hairstyle wasn't frizzy. But what if? 
Oh, Shandama, what if we just didn't do frizzy hair? We ain't got to airbrush nothing. So listen, all my it. pictures, I am so proud to announce to you guys. I don't just be airbrushing my pictures like that. Like, my clients will cuss me out if I don't airbrush their face, but I do not airbrush their hair because I think that that's not fair for her to see a picture of my work looking smooth as all our doors and when she come in, it look crunchy. That's not fair. How about we figure out how to make the hair smooth and not rely on Photoshop? Some people are taking this social media too far. You got people teaching classes on how to make the pictures look better. How about the styles look bomb because the style is bomb? Mm, that just might be a solution. So I take pride over here on the south side, east side, west side because I like the hair. Y'all laughing. I like the hair to just be right. I don't have time. I was raised. If you're going to do it, do it right or sit down. Like Kendra Lamar say, sit down. Well, actually, he said be home sit down. But, you know, I'm just saying. Here, let me move. So, Rhonda can stand up. Y'all, thank Rhonda for being a good sport. <laughs> y'all laughing. But, so, let me give y'all some real tips. I'm still here, Rhonda. Okay. So, let me give y'all some real tips. Hold on. Let me get her a chair. Actually, we're going to take this chair. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Somebody repeat back to me the three steps I said because I forgot. <laughs> no, number one was make sure you take good sections. Number two, number two was what's up with this? Um, this is annoying. Number two, I don't remember number two. I really don't. Okay, that's I don't remember number one and number two. I mean, I don't remember number two. But number one was for sure, take clean sections. And so let me give y'all some more. Oh, number two was product knowledge. Duh. Make sure you have, let me back. Lost out just a little bit. Make sure you have, you're using the right products because that's important. That was number two. Don't just buy cheap stuff and think that it's okay. Don't just buy cheap stuff because it's cheap. That's not fun. Make sure you have good products. And what else? What else, what else, what else? Number three, I would say is just listen to the client. Make sure that you're offering them what they really want. I know so many clients you just to get my own. where they sit in a stylist chair and the stylist just want to do what they want to do and they're not listening to the client. And you're wondering why your book's not consistent because you're just running through people like an assembly line when they have different looks. They have, they want to talk to you. You're, what, oh, what a thought. Your client wants to talk to you and tell you that they have an event tomorrow, that they're unsure if they want waves this time, that maybe they want waves and some spikes. Like they have, they want stuff. So communication with your client is very, 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 very important because they will tell you every time what they want. Now Rhonda said, oh, she on the phone. She gave you guys some advice too, just making sure that the hair doesn't look crunchy. Don't put spray on every curl. She wants touchable, fillable hair. She doesn't want hard line edges. Most women don't want hard, crunchy edges. So there's just so much with short hair, but the key to a consistent, profitable short hair business is having systems in your uh, your short hair. Like you need to know your molding process in and out. You need to know your styling out process in and out. You need to know every detail. You need to know what you do really, really well, okay? You need to know your cutting. Like you need to know the heck out of a 90 degree style because once you master a 90 degree, it's not hard to jump over to 45 or jump over to 180 or add point cutting, notch cutting, whatever. You can add on so much to a 90 degree cut, okay? But the majority of the most popular short hair looks is a 90 degree cut with a few variations. So I say master that. But master every part of your short hair process, the cutting, the, the um, coloring, mastering the rinse, mastering like the conversation that you have the entire time that you're doing their hair because you just want to make sure that 
the person comes back to you. So if you're every single time, if your hair, short hair game is inconsistent, it's because you don't have a process to it. You don't have a plan. You haven't thought out every single, single, single little piece of detail. So I would just invite you guys. I just wanted to go live. There was a, a real hair cutting class. If you want a real class, go to shorthairbootcamplive.com. You can sign up, it's $19 a month, no brainer. There's videos there that I'll walk you through step by step, close up to the camera, good lighting so you can see. But I just thought I would go live because my channel, everybody likes me to do short hair and I haven't done hair in forever. That first wave is always the bomb, then I get lost, shake my head. I am with you, Angela. You're the best styles I ever had. Willette, hey Willette. Hi auntie, they're my auntie Tammy. So, thanks, Miss Rhonda. They said, thank you. Do you use the full line of influence? I love everything influence has. Everything. Bridget is laughing. Hey, Bridget. Um, Beverly says, welcome back. Hey, guys. The curling part. I love that cut. I'm ready for mine. I know, huh? I know y'all cussing me out because I have not done hair in like two, three months. I don't have time. But it is what it is. Um, Rhonda just hit, she just called me at the right time. I really didn't have any time for this today, but she got pictures of her job and I love her. I can't let her go out like that. <laughs> Please. I couldn't let her go out like that. She was like, I'll just be nappy headed then. I was like, oh my God. So dramatic. <laughs> you text me like, I just, I just wear my hair back. <laughs> I mean, I got to take a picture, but it's That's cool. Funny. I was like, dang, <laughs> I can't do a girl like that. She believed in me. So here we are at 8 o'clock at night. I've been going since 4 a.m. So you listen. You've been gone for a long time. I know. I've been, I miss you. <laughs> I've been gone. This is how much I love the few people that I do that get to come kick it. Um, I just be want to catch up and see what they've been doing. <laughs> she can't drink with me tonight because she's trying to be healthy. Ain't nobody got time for that. I wish I could. But anyway, you guys, I'm just hanging out. There's nothing really like, I thought I would just give you guys some value. Why not? Why not just turn the camera on while I'm doing someone's hair? Um, just because her hair will be dry. You got to know every minute of your process. Her hair will be dry in like 15 minutes, if not less, because especially since I didn't put a lot of foam right there, her hair's going to be dry. So... And then we're just going to figure out what she's going to look like on her pictures. No, it's, it's hard to decide when I come here. It's hard. Because she has never come here and said, I want, I don't, I don't, maybe like, maybe like one or two times. Hardly Every ever. time. She'll text me and say, I'm for sure getting this style. And then when she get here. And then I see your hair. And then I say, oh, you know what? I want my hair like yours. <laughs> very important what she said earlier. Very important, guys. She said, well... I like different hairstyles because you like she was like you have your hair you know I do my haircuts like however I do them right right and she was like well you wear the look so when you you be dressed up you be cute like it makes me want to get that look she was like you know yeah every now and then you put on long hair she was like but at the end of the day your short hair is bomb it makes me want to get the short haircut very important it's hard to grow your hair out you, it is when you especially it's hard to grow your hair when your stylists be popping yeah what <laughs> We wait. I be waking up like, mm, let me let me do the thing, uh, right? So like, you, moral of that story is you attract. People are are going to look at your hair even if they're doing it subconsciously. They're gonna look at you and say like, oh, I like her hair. All of my hair like that. That's you just said you can't do short hair and your hair look raggedy. If you have <laughs> your hair nappy, but you say you're a hairstylist, that's not cool. So y'all know this, like, and I've been saying this all day teaching live. We know so much, and yet we apply so little. And we, I'm in the box, okay? I'm telling, I'm including myself. But we know so much, so much so we don't actually do it. Y'all know you can't be walking outside looking crazy. You never know who you're going to run into. Man. You can't tell people you do hair and be like, really? <laughs> the clients don't care that it's your off day. Because, like, you think about this. You don't want, that's like getting an accountant who broke. Yeah, you got your license, but you broke. That don't excite me. What? That's like, why would I try to sell you something?
something and I haven't done like so many people. Oh, Jesus, that's another class. So many people be sitting, hitting me up like I'm starting this class and it's movement and this and that. But you haven't done what you're selling. If you have not done what you're selling, that doesn't make any sense. What, but in 2017, people building. Girl, you putting them glasses on my waves. Get, get. She is showing out. She put them glasses on my waves. Mm -mm. Heck no. Oh my God. She just messed up the hair. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> my clients, they just be getting, oh Lord. She just took the whole look. I, mean, I, should, I should know better. Right. What's I'm going on? Your she rusted. She been, she, Andy been put, Andy been put, Andy been put, it ain't been that long now. Don't be acting okay. brand new. Okay. I know. <laughs> Sit still. So what's some more tips we can give them, Ronnie? You a client. You don't speak up for all the clients that wish they could say what you could tell well, them. Well, if they sit in your chair, they have to be still. <laughs> Wait, that's the that's my rules for y'all. <laughs> that's my rules for my clients. I don't play that being on your phone, all that, because it's too much. I'm not going to be breaking my back. Yeah, this is somebody else's conversation. <laughs> right. You a girl for real. What they say? Girl, what? Moving your head. And then they swear they not moving, even though they moving. You be like, hey girl, be still. They be like, I ain't moving. You're moving. Your head is moving. I just almost chopped off my finger. They should do their research before they come to a hairstylist. The you clients? Like you, you have a lot of stuff. We can see your stuff. Because that's how I came to you. I saw your stuff. Ooh, that's you know? powerful. Because so she's saying, okay, let's flip it. Because she's saying the client should do their research. Yes. But what she's saying is, she said the way she found me was because she did her research. She was looking. I had a lot of stuff, is what yeah, she just said. I saw all those hairstyles. Oh, she I saw all my that. work. So if you're a stylist and, and your account. You know what? And then I saw you online. I'm like, okay, you seem like a nice person, approachable. So I called. Approachable. Mm -hmm. All snap. You know. All you approachable. Some of y'all got resting bitch faces. I'm going to just say it because that's what it is. Some people, I know yeah, so many amazing, stuff. nice stylists, but they just, from, you know, a harder background, you might be a little gutter, you know? Y'all know I'm ghetto, but I ain't, I'm not, I'm not from no gutter hood, nothing like that. But, like, I am, I'm country, right? But, like, I know my environments, and so some of you guys have to remember that, yes, you might be, you know, hood, hard, whatever you want to call it. But that is scaring away your customer. I know so many amazing stylists. Yeah, because you know, you don't want to sit in somebody's chair. And, and they, they just mean mugging. Like have a shootout or something. You mean mugging the whole time. How you doing? How you doing? Okay, you come on. <laughs> That's how y'all be sounding. You come on. Come to the back. <laughs> it's time. Kim. Come on, Kim. Oh, she always look. Kim. How you doing? I'll be right with you. That's how people, it's like. That's a person. Would you want to come to someone who literally is like, happy with you, and you still working. You ain't talking to the person in your chair. You done mean mug that lady. And, and then, then you want us to pay you. And then you want them to give you their coins. What a tip. Right, and you want a tip. But you look, the tip of the day is, girl, smile. <laughs> the tip of the day is fix your attitude. And some of y'all really don't have an attitude. Now, I've met stylists who are so sweet and they're like amazing. But they just have what we call resting bitch faces. Where they just like this. Stone face. <laughs> just stop, like, just literally like, they wake up, they like, you be like, are you excited? I'm excited. I've talked to so many stylists and I'll be like, no, ma'am, you look depressed. Where it's just, oh yeah, I'm a hairstylist. Hey, my name is Keisha, I do hair. Hey, I'm a massage therapist. I got a, uh, some must. Y'all, yeah. you have to be excited about what you're doing. You ain't got to be emotional. You don't have to be in love. This is not your end-all destination. But in order to make this into something, a six-figure empire, because let's just be real, I ain't really, like, that's what the goal is. In order to make that happen, like, you have to be excited. You have to have a certain level of passion about this so that you can do, even if it's only one thing, really, really well. You don't want to be, like, so mediocre about so basic about it. Like, I do hair. Good morning. Hey, Miss Kim, you coming this week? You gonna, can you come back in two weeks? Now! Don't nobody want to be around that old dead energy in two weeks? Stop! 
balance have to be so much into personal development as well as business development because this is a business and it will give you whatever you ask of it if you properly plan that was the message of today i swear I, i'm a fake like i'm not a preacher but you know i'll be delivering sermons you know what they gotta listen to your status too because remember mm. when you told me i said i want my hair blonde no you can't get your hair blonde <laughs> <laughs> my clients say it all the time they be wanting their hair like if somebody just if you just met a lady today like if i just met a dude i'm not even gonna use that scenario because some of y'all never mind if you just met a lady today and she sits in your chair and she's like, oh, I want to get some bleach, some highlights or whatever. You know, clients say bleach, whatever. You want to get your hair highlighted. You, even when I was taking customers publicly, you could not just book highlights on my website. I don't know you. You're not going to come in my chair because you could be a chair hopper. You could have just got some highlights from somebody. You didn't like it. You turn your hair black and then you don't hop in my chair trying to act like your hair been black. Talking about giving me some highlights. So then I, unknowing, I put some light hair in your hair and then your hair is on the floor. And so then we're both looking at the hair and we're trying to figure out why is it on the floor. And so then, because I don't know the details, you can say I did it. I'm beating myself up because I think I did it. But in reality, the client didn't give you the proper hair history. So no, you cannot sit in my chair and just get chemicals like that. Even with relaxers. I don't just, if somebody say... Oh, I'm getting a relaxer. I'm looking at the hair. I'm processing. I'm asking a million questions because I can tell when they're lying. Point. No, because because mm -hmm. what if they just got a full head of bleach from somewhere and then they turn their hair back black and then they say, oh, I want a relaxer today. But they just shampooed their hair two days ago. They're going to be like me or like, like I was early. Ah, so my hair was burning. No, because I just came out of a weave and my hair was weak and he was like, mm -mm. I knew. I already knew. When she came to me, she wanted her hair to get healthy. If, you're, if your goal is healthy hair, I'm not about to give you lightener right now, ma'am. This is not you on the menu. Hair, it'll make my hair look thinner. Yeah, I was like, you're just going to look like us. Like, I hate seeing people with beautiful hair color, but I can look at a... Sh I'm so OCD. This is how OCD you need to be. I'm so OCD. I can look at hair. Like, I love that I picked this hair up on the floor, and it looks so healthy. It has a shine to it. It just... It looks so healthy. Like, it looks strong. You is strong. Like... <laughs> Like, it's healthy. I have no worries. She can do whatever the hell she want to get now. Because I'm the only person being her head. And it's not because I, it's just about me. But it's because I make sure that her foundation is correct. Some of y'all doing hair and you so into the styles and color and giving people what they ask for. But the consultation is important because that person may not be a color candidate. That person may not be a relaxer candidate right now. Like, it's so important to just actually do business like this is not just a hustle a hustle is it works when it works when it ain't working it ain't working a business is something that it's it's a recurring it's a cycle it's just it's always going to circle it's just going it's complete there's a process there's a system so in your short hair business there is a system in everything there's a reason why i can you can drop me when i was in i just got back from barcelona when I was in Barcelona, literally, I was, walk, I was looking around. All I saw was money. I said, whew, give me 90 days. Like, it used to take me, my, my, if I'm in the U.S., like, that's just, for example, you put me in Montana. I give myself 90 days anywhere now because I got the formula. I know how to get it, get in, get seen, get hurt, make money with hair. But I was like, I'm out the country, and the principles still apply. Like, I can see the stylist doing all kind of wrong stuff. All you, I, I was like, man, I come over here and put me, plant me a couple people. And I'm like, it's endless success. There's an abundance of people. There's an abundance of opportunity. There's an abundance of possibility. But it requires you as the stylist, as the beauty professional, as the massage therapist, as the makeup artist, as whatever you are. It requires you to totally, totally step up. You got to step up. You cannot be mediocre and think that your life is going to change. Like, no. Like, and I know we're talking about short hair, but it is with your short hair. It starts with your short hair. It starts with the, the, the shampoo bowl, the shampoo experience. It starts with um, your conditioners, your products. It starts with you educating the client in that moment and then giving them the treatments that they need. It starts with you getting into your hair cutting and living in it until you can cut with your eyes closed. Like, I don't care where you cut on the head. I can take the head and 
rock it. Like, I can cut anybody's hair, period. Black, white, purple, horse, dog, I can cut it. Like, because I, I was like, I need to understand the principles. That way I can just move and be creative and, and just whatever. Like, you got to master your different levels. Some of us want to move so fast because everybody's moving fast and everything looks shiny online and everybody look like they're doing much more than what they're really doing. And it's like, at the end of the day, if you just rewind, take a deep breath and like approach your short hair business as a business and every part of the process, look, Keisha say, Lordy, Lordy, Lordy. What up, Keisha? What's going on, y'all? I'm just chatting. This has no agenda. So if you're looking like there's no, I just took, cut the cameras on because I felt like talking to y'all. Um, we're waiting on Rhonda. She's got about 10 more minutes, if that. But mastering every step of your short hair process is really key um i'm loving the short hair boot camp live it's so amazing if y'all haven't signed up trust me it's worth it thank you teal shy says preach yes she is shy and yes we do i'm watching sis you better teach i love it um what up snap snap says silly lol teal says yes i know some stylists like that y'all know them stylists that be like how you doing <laughs> They think that's polite. That ain't polite. You sound bored and annoyed. Um, some people lie all the time because they want what they want. We just have to be professional and do what we know we need to do or not. Right. And it's not about... So th that whole thing was not even about who's lying and who's not. It's just as a professional, there's a process and a procedure and you need to know hair so much so that you just operate. Everything just flows. Like you can assess and give proper consultations giving them the best thing for their hair not what's in right now not what's hot it's what's best for their hair because it's their hair is growing out of their scalp like once they're done wearing their lace fronts or whatever they got to go back to their hair so the boot camp is monthly $19 a month um, you can pay for the year it's 150 if you like most people are in the boot camp they've been in there for a year two years that's $228 a year versus if you pay for up front, it's $150. But you can start for $19, log in, boom, you can watch the classes. Anyway, what was I saying? Be professional. That's what I'm saying. Be professional. That was all. Yeah. Um, that, was the, that was the main focus of the hour is you want to be professional. You don't want to be mediocre. Like T.I. said, I don't want to be mediocre. That's a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's so right. I don't want no mediocre dude. I don't want no mediocre life. I don't want no mediocre nothing. Nothing about me. See, I had some goals and some good points in that song. I messed around and rolled across that music video. It's quite ratchet. But I understood where he was coming from. <laughs> I understood where he was coming from. So, anywho, hope you guys got some value. I'm just having fun. There was no real purpose. Um, the first wave. Oh, I can do some more wave videos for you, Angela. I will do some more waves for you guys. Um, sure. I forget that I should do more tutorials on that. Coming right up. Rhonda, now you got to be my wave model. <laughs> I said, now you got to be my wave model. Oh, that's <sighs> fun. Life, life, life. So this morning, I got up, I did my spiritual work, I got ready for my class that I taught at 9, I taught a, taught a class at 10. What is your spiritual work? My spiritual work, so I always like to just work on myself. Like when I get up, I have to pour into myself first. Like I think everybody should do it. So before I turn on the phone, some of y'all get up and be on the phone for two hours before you go to work. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> what? What? We talking about what we don't want, what we wish we had? I ain't trying to have them conversations. What are we talking about in the morning? I don't want to know about the housewives. I don't want to know about the news. I don't want to know about Trump. I don't want to, None of that can exist in my world. Like, when I wake up, it is all peace. I need quietness. And I need Jesus and me. And, like, and just... And it ain't like I'm in here just... Oh, like, I'm not in here, like, doing all that. But I just like to assess myself. Because... People act like I don't have things that piss me off or I don't have, you know, fears or worries or doubts. Like, I do. So, in order for me to give my energy the way that I do to everyone, I pour into myself first straight up in the morning. So, whether it's a book, I have, I love books. So, 
um there's a million books that are I, I use books as reference material so girl my library is extensive in the kindle um but i make sure that in the morning time i go over my goals i go over my affirmations i listen to some spiritual stuff read a scripture you know get just a nugget some of y'all trying to consume the whole textbook in the morning that's not it makes you feel overwhelmed you feel behind you feel like you're not enough you feel like oh my god everybody's winning but me i used to do that so i realized let me just get one nugget what's the nugget for the morning like my nugget for this morning was the phrase i know and that we say that phrase so much and you're literally telling your mind because you say you know it your mind you're telling your mind don't that ain't don't receive it and so we go through life and we there are certain things that we know we know this stuff some of y'all take my class and you go i knew that but hell i just didn't do it so you don't have to pay me so i can tell you what you already know and say do it now like i pay people a lot of money to tell me what i already know but i just need them people in my spot in my space being on me and i was like you know what you gotta check every area and so my goal for the rest of the month is really to look at what am i telling myself that i already know because i don't want to not i don't want to block nothing i don't want to block nothing that's supposed to come to me and bless me so like that i was like that's my that was my message for today and so it's funny because everything i was teaching today kept leading to because i start thinking so many hairstylists have called me like i know this stuff but i'm broke and i'd be like you want to join the money team or nah because i can tell you how to get some money like the hair game the beauty game any service business is so easy it's so easy for me like and now it's like a sport. That's why I be so excited about the CEO stylist. Because I'm like, let me help you grow your business to six figures. It's not a joke. It's not a hype. It is just because I know, like, I know this stuff. And that's not the I know I'm talking about. <laughs> the I know that I'm referring to is when you hear something and, you, and, like, I could be telling you something right now. And you say, I already know. You know how many stylists that I know that been in the game for a long time and then they're like, Girl, I already know. I'm a master. <laughs> Your style still look crunchy. So since you know, why are you in my class? <laughs> so you can't come. Like, people come in there like that because I'm young. They be like, oh, but yo, knowledge and applied knowledge and action is everything. Wisdom. The Bible says with all you're getting, you get that under understand this thing. Like, you get your knowledge. I need you to understand it. I need you to take action. Man, Proverbs will get your entire life. If you read a chapter of Proverbs a day, every day, you it will get your entire life. I've been doing that for the last, since before I moved from Dallas. And I swear them scriptures be just feed my spirit. Some mornings, it's just Proverbs. Rhonda asked me what my spiritual stuff is. You know, I just it varies. Books, it's the Bible, it's audio tapes, it's just me getting quiet, listening to my own intuition. Like... It's just, I got to do that first. And, and I, I get so inspired. And so in the morning, whatever is bothering me, I know how to pick myself up. I know how to shake off stuff that irritate me. I know how to like whatever. And y'all, if you really know me, you know that I go ham. I will go off on you. Oh my God. But then I know how to get out of it really quick. So I don't sit in like, I can go off. We can have an argument right now. And two minutes later, I'm like, hey girl. You be like, didn't you just, I'm complete with it. <laughs> like, so... It's because my I keep I have to work on myself constantly. My friends laugh at me. They be like, "Oh, here she go." Because I just fuss, and all the women in my family be fussing, and they lay on the, the gas, and they just go for a long time. So I try to work on that. I'm not perfect, so that's why in the morning time, spiritual is first because I just gotta have it. And then I be ready to just get to business. I love my jobs. Like I love them all, all of them. Even though I'm tired, I'm having fun doing her hair. I'm having fun talking to you guys. And it's just, I don't know. You should tell them how to keep clients too. How to get rid of the riffraff. <laughs> Ooh, she said. <laughs> she said how to keep clients. Um, you know, because some people call you, they're not real clients. Hold on. Uh, uh, let's see. Do a video on how your hair is styled. I love that. My hair, I ghetto cut my hair until I can get back to my hairstylist because I don't let nobody on this earth cut my hair except for one person. So, um, until I can get to her, I had to like make 
make it work. So I'm glad y'all like this hot mess because this is a hot mess. Because my hair is not popping right now. I will fly home just to just to get a haircut. Some people lie all this. Oh, we already read that. Thank you. So I did a protein treatment. I did a, a black Paul Mitchell rinse the other day. But then when I shampoo my hair, I've been using this shampoo. Let me show y'all. Hold on. So, let me show you guys this shampoo. Oh, here we go. So, I've been using this shampoo. It keeps your hair so shiny. So, y'all, you can charge extra, you know, $15 if you if your client, in order, once you give them a, a, a demi rinse, a uh, semi, I'm sorry, a semi rinse, once you give it to them, um, in between every other shampoo use this if they have black hair like look at my hair look it look extra black don't it juicy <laughs> juicy oh y'all guess what i got oh this is so exciting this is so exciting oh, this is amazing everyone i just want you guys to know it's amazing juicy yes hello so anyway as i was saying you want to, Who um, is it's the microphone, girl. Put an echo. I sound good. And I, I, I sound good. Will always love you. You. Da, 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 da. weekend and I got on everybody's nerves and I'm probably about to get on your nerves because this is my favorite thing ever in life anyway um this shampoo makes your hair extra black because it's blue and y'all know blue is the biggest molecule to show the black so get y'all some of this here hello hello okay so we're about to curl our hair um Make sure that you get this shampoo because it will make you somebody. I just added some money to somebody's books. This will make your hair extra black and shiny. Look at that. Mmm, it's just juicy. Juicy black. Is that shampoo? Mm hmm So, like, when you come again, girl, let me change chairs. When you come again, let's bring this over here. We about to curl and be done, y'all. See right there? Right there, right there. So, when you come again, I'll use that, and actually, it'll prolong your rinse. And it make your hair just shiny all the time because it's just it's just amazing so i'm gonna go through and just do a little bit of maintenance so as you guys can see as you got Rhonda, you you hit the back of the dryer she was doing the Gosh, most under there. I, I don't be scared to, to touch y'all waves. If you're scared to touch a wave, I mean, I don't know why. people. Some people be like, don't touch it. So, I put the waves just in case. I don't really know. We don't, she don't really know. But I'm about to just go through and do a little bit of cutting. And I'm just going to shape it up. Oh, you don't got no paper. Where'd the paper go? Right here. Juicy. <laughs> What's the name? Semen. What's the name of the shampoo? What? Oh, that's her name, Simon Simon. Um, it's called viral, so I really don't even know. That's horrible. Uh viral, extreme wash. It's called viral. Just Google viral shampoo. Got viral hair color shampoo. Look down. Viral hair color shampoo. So remember, I cut that guide at the top of her head. Now, I'm just going to go through and clean everything up. Because I know I can start anywhere in the head and have a good um, guideline. 
So we keep it the front long, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> she don't know what she wanna do. I'm about to break my I'm about to break I'm not teaching. When I'm teaching, I don't I don't cut like this because it's hard to teach it because it's really a feeling. But we about to get this done. I'm going to my regular. Regular mode. Right. <laughs> You say, yeah. Y'all like my microphone? That's my new favorite thing. I got that at Ross for $15. I started Googling how I can sell one. That's how much. I, <laughs> I was like, I need to sell these. I need everybody to have a mic. And actually. You could walk in there and start singing with it. Girl, yes. You know, I've been singing everywhere I go. But the thing about it is that as a vocalist, like you really. You really have to be careful about um, your voice. Like you gotta monitor the 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 level at which you speak on a regular basis because you don't want to lose your voice. So when I saw that mic, I was so excited because I'm like, shoot. And guys, I think I cut Rhonda hair. Did I cut your hair on a hair video? I curled your hair, but I don't think I cut it. The cut that I'm doing, look at Kim Comes to Visit in shorthairbootcamplive.com. You can sign up right now for just $19 a month. Super easy. The value is just, I don't even have to define that because, I mean, really, 19 bucks? You got these same classes, people doing them for $500. So, no explanation needed there. Cause I know somebody watching this going, I can't see. But I just want to turn the camera on and show you guys. I don't know what I, I just turned the camera on. Really, there was no real. So yeah, that's all. I'm glad you guys are hanging out with me. I want you guys to see the finished look, so I'm gonna try to work efficiently. So you can see what we end up doing. She finna be cute on that picture. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm like what? Is that how we are gonna say that because <laughs> my hair have to make curls in a while. So the kind of cutting I'm doing right now is because first of all, I've been doing her hair for how many years now? A long time. Right. <laughs> so I've been doing her hair. She started from the bottom with me. Started mm -hmm. from the bottom now with mm -hmm. Rhonda literally was, you were at the, when I was in at the house, at the, at Michelin house. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had so much fun over there. Yeah. Rhonda been rocking nice with me. There. Did you come to that real hood salon? Not the one with the, uh. With the rug carpets, they had some carpets everywhere. Mm -hmm. I was only there for like a day. No, I didn't go that one. Yeah, that one was horrible. I had to find different salons to work at. Then I went to the other hood one. Oh yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one was a trip, huh? It was. Rhonda watched me. I when I met when Rhonda, by the time Rhonda came, I was just building the business. You know when when you work in the shop with there's other girls who can't do hair like you. Not a good look. It wasn't a good look because, of course, jealousy. And people get jealous. It's funny when people get jealous because, hell, I share everything. All you gotta do is come sit next to me. I I was telling them stuff that people was paying me to, to teach, but I was just trying to help the help the hood. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. They should have took advantage Most of being there. They all said it now. Whatever. Everybody always call me like, girl, you told me. I don't want to hear that story. That further lets me know you need to get off my phone. 
Hmm. And let somebody who's actually going to take action get on the line. But, funny thing, when you came in today, you were like, Keisha, you've been doing your career. You've been doing... It's, and, and for her to... So, when Rhonda came to me today... I don't know what made you say that. What did I say? You was like, your credit, you was doing oh, this. Oh, yeah, because I remember. Rhonda Everything started, you set out to do, you did. Because I had mm -hmm. a plan. Mm -hmm. So, if y'all get in that CEO stylus, I use the exact curriculum. Even Rhonda even saw me making sales calls for all the people who call and say they want to sign up for CEO stylus. I've been on the phone with y'all. Mm -hmm. Back to back. Yep, yeah, back to back while she was here. And she saw me, when I get a sales call, I write down the name, the number. I write down details of the conversation, when I'm going to call them back. Like, and it's the same, it's the, literally what I was doing that she saw, the behind the scenes stuff, she saw me doing. I teach it in the CEO stylist. This is how I build all these businesses that make money. Like, I'm not a millionaire, but I'm on my way. I'm going to be a multi You're going to be one. It's inevitable, not because of anything other than I'm just doing the work. Like, consistency is everything. When I say everything, I mean everything. If you're trying to follow my cutting right now, I'm going to tell you you're going to end up frustrated because I'm not cutting in a formula because I've been doing it here forever. I just know what I'm, I just know. And right now, I'm just kind of cleaning up the cut and just adding some shape back to it. She's growing out the length, so. That's what she say. That could change tomorrow. True. <laughs> True. Or two weeks. Right. So I'm just going to clean it up. You sweat? Oh, heck no. <laughs> Oh my God! I about to die. It's, you know what? It's that dryer. It's it is. It ain't cake. Let me cut the air off. No hammers. You say hey. Yeah. Juicy. <laughs> yeah. That sounds funny. I like this. Y'all like my mic? I just want to tell you. Wait, you got too much echo. Hold on. Shut you my angel. you my darling angel. I definitely recommend the Short Hair Boot Camp. It's awesome. Thank you so much, Teal. Robin says, Lakeisha, it didn't work at the low class salons because you're casting your pearl before. Oh, come on, Robin. <laughs> Robin says, no problem, Till. God bless you on your journey. I'm older and have been in the game a long time. I'm very interested in both classes, but I need the business side more than anything. Robin, text. If you guys are interested in the CEO stylus, I would love for you to text 214-675-7115, and I will get the business on your side. No, seriously, just text me. <laughs> text me. I can show you how to run your business. Um, Till Scott, I'm sh quite sure she can answer better than I can, but I believe that that is separate. CEO of the business, yes, yes, you're so you better go, Robin. Go ahead, Robin. The CEO class, the cl the souls. Okay, so let me ask you guys. Robin says straight silly, ha ha ha. Age has nothing to do with wisdom. You right, Robin. Robin, I like you, girl. Go ahead, girl. Yeah, it's getting your duckies together. So, the CEO stylist. And y'all, I'm waiting for Ron to cool down. <laughs> Mess up with my edges, Lord have mercy. I know it be hot. When the clients sweat, then you gotta just take a break, let them cool down. Cause now when they sweat, the edges, the waves, they get a little flustered. Okay, so it feels better. <laughs> it's gonna cool down. I got the air on. So guys, the CEO Stylist is a course that teaches hairdressers how to run their businesses efficiently. So if you're having inconsistent customers, if you are trying, if you're overwhelmed, if you just want more, con like more finances, you don't know how to hit your goals. You're not, you, you thought you were doing something and then boom. Okay. I, it's not what I thought. I'm not attracting the clientele that I want. 
Like, I know how to, I have like literally a, a whole bunch of Rondas. Rhonda is sitting in this chair. Rhonda likes to pay by the month. Rhonda likes to, whatever it costs it, she's getting it. Like, Rhonda just likes doing business. Like, she, and I have a, I know how to attract Rhonda's, like, period. You already gave my trust, so I don't really have to. I yeah. sit in your chair and say, just do my hair. Right. And then she just like, it's just so simple. So I never really feel like I'm at work because they just be, we be talking and kicking it and worry about business and life and men. I mean, we just have such a good time. Turn this way. We have such a good time because of, um, so she done sweated and frizzed up my stuff. I know. Y'all, but that be, is it frizz? It's the, on the tips. It's okay. Oh. <laughs> So she's growing out the top of her hair. So I gotta kind of leave some stuff. I'll leave that. Show you my angel. You're my darling angel. I don't know why that song in my head. But this cut, you can learn. Um, Kim comes to visit. Um, the 90 degree no curls. Um, like it's just a lot. Those are the names of the cutting videos in the membership area. But they'll give you some great insight as to what I'm doing, the techniques. So, back to what I was saying. CEO Stylist, private membership group. Every Monday we have live Q&A and I share like a strategy with you and um you have there's courses already in there so if you signed up today you can literally log in today and start learning the the strategy so you can figure out why your business is doing what it's doing and then you will know what you should be working on it's very very powerful it will literally change your like it will impact your mentality so much that your life will change if and when you do, you take action. It's all about the action that you take. And so far in the group, people are building crazy clientele, recurring customers. They're just revamping the way they even see their business. They didn't, some people didn't even know that they needed a vision and that, and that their business can get them to the lifestyle that they want. You know, the house, getting their kids out the hood. Like it's amazing the breakthroughs that people are having in this group it's all about the business there are salon owners several salon owners in the group they use the curriculum to train their stylists um you got people that are just getting into the industry and they just want to start right because they don't feel like going through all the horror stories that they're hearing about with all the stylists who basically um started the game with no plan so the, the ceo stylist is going to like literally give you such a business insight um, so that you know how to fix your own life. You ain't got to wait on the Yandla. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to wait on her. <laughs> I'm impatient. I want to fix my life now. I want to be able to log in, ask some questions. And that's what the CEO stylist is all about, like access. So each week we have live Q&A classes. And throughout the week, we meet, we meet up in the, in the CEO stylist group. A Facebook group and we talk about business you can ask questions and, and and hear what other people are going through and get accountability partners and and um, you learn business strategy so if you need to understand why my business is not giving me the result that I want you want to be in this group it is all about understanding principles I'm, I try to make it as simple as possible oh my god I try so hard to be Super simple, make it super easy so that you can watch something and instantly go implement it. Because I know that we're everybody is really good at um, getting ready to get ready to get ready. Like we say, we're going to the gym, we buy 50 outfits. I was just looking at my drawer, I got all them gym clothes I ain't never wore. That's just a waste of money. Because I realized I don't like going to the gym. Instead of me beating myself up about it, all I got to do is just come up with another solution so i work out in my house 
But hell, I ain't been working out, so now I gotta figure out what that's what that problem is. <laughs> Let's address the real issue. I don't like working out, but I'm 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 gonna start back. I'm gonna take y'all with me, YouTube. Y'all gotta work out with me so that I can make sure I stay in shape because you do stay in shape because you do a lot. I eat all clean, day long. yeah, and I move around a lot. Yeah, you eat healthy. I eat very. I know how to eat myself skinny. I can keep. I'm. I'm doing good. And Rhonda, that's gonna be cute. Let's keep this short and then grow that out. That's gonna be cute. So we just gotta let it grow. Her bangs are growing out, so I can't go too far into cutting this off. But if we grow this, it's gonna be really cute. Shut am my angel. You're my darling angel. YouTube, I feel like y'all don't got enough light. Ooh, that's cute, though. What? Like, when you run your hands through your client's hair, they better be able to, like, get some, some, a little, what we call zhuzh. We need zhuzh. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? So... Shut up, my angel. That's gonna be cute. Like when you wear it straight. Mm -hmm. So now we gotta figure out what you wanna look like. She wanna look like girl. girl. Ask me because. Hmm. Let me get you an napkin. Y'all see that shine though? See that shine though? That sounds like a rap song. <laughs> <laughs> Straight or curly? It's for the picture, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What y'all think? Straight or curly? She's taking the picture. She's going to be honored. She's getting an award. <laughs> mm -hmm. I say something, something messy. Straight? Mm -hmm. No, I say, I say uh, something spike, like something pixie looking. Okay, I do that. They say curly, Rhonda. The CEO Stylist course is three sixty seven. It's an investment of three sixty seven. The value of that course is nine ninety seven, straight up. It's in a beta group right now, so you guys get all kind of benefits for um, being in the first three hundred. And so it's an investment of three sixty seven. You can pay a one time fee, or you can do a payment plan. Don't count yourself out. Let's just figure out how. And um, you can text two one four six seven five seven one one five. Two one four six seven five. Seven one one five. They say okay, so we're gonna put some pixie. Ooh, yeah, that would be cute. Yeah, something spiky, flip up. Let's do your signature look. Why are you sweating out your edges? <laughs> you okay? Cool enough, you know. She cool enough. So this is just um. I love that Cleo spray. They don't did even. You, did you spray it like for this? Is... Yeah. Oh. I'm so done. So done. So done. And the spray just falls. <laughs> so I put the Cleo spray for a hole. There we go. Thank you, Robin. Flips and spikes. Pixie. They want you to be girl. They trying to make you pop. <laughs> All the way pop. So you saw your request, Robin. Pixie. All right. So it's determined. Show you my angel. You my angel. So when I go pixie, I literally hold your head back just a little bit. There we go. 
I just start, I just pick up the top of the head. And I'm gonna create my base on my ironing hot chip. Oh, yes, it is a little bit. So I like to just kind of create my base. So that I can move so I go into detail on what I'm doing for those of you who are saying oh my god I can't see I know how it goes Details on shorthairbootcamplive.com. But basically, I want texture. So, I just go in and I just start creating flips and spikes. And just have fun. Like, I don't try to... Oh, no. Shining on my Oh, it died. All the people on Facebook. <laughs> I unplugged it. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, well. Anyway, I don't try to... Um, think it, overthink it. If you overthink it, you're going to mess up every time. Because it's just inevitable. You don't want to be all stressed out. You want to have fun. You want to be fluid with your iron. So trust me when I say overthinking ain't the way. You want to just feel free. When you're spiking the hair, the fun part is because it just feels like movement. It feels like, it reminds me of like hip hop. Till it's so worth it. Y'all, I tried to save it in my context and forgot. I was on my phone while she was talking. <laughs> 367. Text me, text me, text me. Yes, we can get you in a payment plan. Trust me. You're going to get your... And I'm, and it's such a confident and a bold statement. But I promise you, you get your money back. If you hustle, you don't get your money back if you get in there trying to find excuses for why it don't work and why you whatever. But if you get in the, in the group and you just are determined to win... You're going to get your money back straight up. You're going to get your money back. You're going to be thoroughly pleased. You're going to have a positive community. You want to be a part of a group of stylists where everybody's on the same mental plane. Like everybody's trying to grow their business. Everybody wants to be spiritually inclined. Everybody want to support one another. Everybody like it's just such a positive environment. That alone, man, I would pay a monthly fee just so I can be around positive people because sometimes that's all that's the only environment you have. Some of you stylists are like I know because so many stylists have joined the group because they're like, shoot, everywhere I go, people hate me. So they just wanted to be around something happy. So that's just as valuable as the information. And the cool thing, like I said, there are salon owners, there are vets. There are, there are different types of stylists in the group that are all doing cool things. There are massage therapists. There are nail techs. There are just multiple people, multiple types of people. And you get to just mingle and learn. And like, once you, the best part is that as you learn what I'm teaching you, then you go implement you have access to me to um uh, ask questions now you need to be just blowing my phone up but <laughs> you have email hour access okay and then of course in the facebook group i'm in there every day i look and see what everybody's saying i'm talking to y'all i'm seeing what you're doing i'm asking how are you what do you need help with i'm very active in the group I'm very, like, you know, sometimes you buy a product and you don't even get to talk to the person who made it. 
I be all up in your business. What are you doing and why? Are you working on the right thing in your business so that you can be successful? So that your business can grow in the manner that you want it to grow. Like, I'm always in your face. So, that's a bonus. Because I want you to win. So, I'm constantly making sure in communication to see what you're doing. To make sure that you're, you know, you get the information. So, it's not just you buying a product and then you, you're lost in the dark. You are logging into a private membership area where you can access the replays all the time. So, if you have a day job, some of the members in the group have a day job. Hold your ear down. Some of the members in the group have a day job, so they only can watch the replays, you know? But they, they, I love the day job people hustle harder than the regular people sometimes because they just be ready, they be hungry. It's just cool, like you, it's, a, it's an amazing, I can't believe I created it, I'm like, wow. And not because I think I'm somebody, but I pay so much money for my coaches. So you look at my, my coach that I just signed on, and I say this all the time, that's 22 grand. Not to mention, when, we, when they have live events that we have to be at, I gotta pay for that out my pocket. So like, I'll be in New Orleans next month because my group, my mastermind, is in New Orleans and we're doing business development. And so I gotta pay for that as well as pay them to teach me. So y'all getting two percent, two, not even, you getting a, you getting so much information for so, uh, for nothing really. Because you can take everything I say and implement it. I like to teach in, in a way that you can implement quickly. It makes me happy when I say something and then somebody go do it right away and get results. Makes me so happy. Because I just want everybody to win. Everyone. Remember they did that thing, No Man Left Behind, No Education? What was it? <laughs> Who was it? Did uh, they give you pictures? Of what? Your students. Like pictures oh, of their hair? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, in the short hair class? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They post pictures like every day. I need to start. I, it's so much I need to do that I don't think about until a moment like this. But yeah, I need to start promoting like. What I could do is a directory. Once you pass a couple tests, then you can go through them. You can be listed on my directory. Oh, that would be good. Yeah, because I be feeling bad for clients. Y'all be really needing, um, they really be needing, like, y'all need to come out of class. And, um, at least they have a, you know, even if you come out of my class and you didn't pick up the skill, you know they got some type of right mind. <laughs> because... I only attract stylists that are positive, that are trying to change, that want to grow, that are just doing, they're up to, they're trying to be, you know, whatever. So every now and then I get somebody that's negative and I kick them out happily. <laughs> I kick people out all the time. Y'all don't even be knowing. I'll be like, and you've been canceled. I don't need no rotten apples. No negative Nancys. No people who think that you're supposed to get rich quick and overnight. That's stupid. You got to put the work in. Straight up. Got to put the work in. So yeah, guys, that um, I hope I answered the questions about the CEO stylist correctly, because it's business. If you're looking to grow your salon business, this is the course you want to take, because that's what it's all about. Growing your salon business, wherever you are, the first week, the first thing that you do in the group is. Figure out what level your business is at so that you can figure out what your key activities you should be focusing on. A lot of people are trying to do some of everything right now. You're trying to do branding photo shoots, trying to do all this stuff. And those may not be what that may not be, you know, what you should be working on. And I'm gonna tell you, if your money ain't where you want it, it's because there's no consistency. So that means we need to review how you acquire clients. We need to review, we need to look at your systems and your plans. 
And some of you guys are really good when you're at work. The minute you stop working, your business stops. That's not how you want to do. I was in Barcelona for a month making money. Like you want to make sure that you are set up to make money wherever you are. And so in order to do that, you got to have systems in place because you want to run your business efficiently. First, you got to be aware of what's happening in your business. Some people don't even know what they made last month. Some people have don't know what they made yesterday. Some people know what they made, but they weren't paying attention to what they spent. And so then every time it's time to look for money, money doesn't show up. And you write letters to money like, money, why you don't love me? You don't love me anymore. Trust me. I know y'all. I know how it go. So it's just a matter of consistency. There's a business format. There's some things that you should be doing. Some key items and activities that you should be uh, working on. That's all. And so we just got to figure that out. What is that? And so I just help you walk you through it. I walk you through it. Why are you cool? I'm cool. I'm gonna sweat them waves all the way up. No, I'm not even sweating. No, they just they gone oh. from the first sweat. Oh, man. <laughs> right. It is what it is. Still cute. What you wearing tomorrow? I don't know. I have this dress. Um, no, you got to be fresh to. I have options. Yes, options. Okay. So we're almost done. Yes, I'm overwhelmed. It's to a place I just get my salon system set up and just work and setting up. But it'd be worth it once once I can have the online certificate. That's why you. Need the class. The group is awesome. We're like family. I haven't been consistent these past two weeks, but I'm holding myself accountable. I love Raquel. What's up, boo? Really, Raquel, that's wonderful. Thank you for your testimony. I need feedback. I just started my own salon suite in May and needed the structure. I made seventeen hundred dollars in one week. Her systems work, but consistency. You better go, Raquel. Why you ain't tell me that, girl? <laughs> Come on and get the money then. Shoot, huh? <laughs> why we be doing it, huh? <laughs> So, that's dope, Raquel, but the best part is that you know what you need to do. So it's just a matter of being accountable. And the thing about it is you're in the group, so all you gotta do is, is, is talk out loud. Hey guys, I'm about to accomplish this. And, 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 and we gotta hold you accountable. And so, but, but we don't know what you're working on until you tell us. Because when we try to do it all by ourselves, we get into uh, all kind of stuff. New classes pop up, stuff pop up, everything pop up. Everything but what we should be doing. So what you want to do is make sure that you're working on the right thing and that you're consistent. And the best part is that you already know, Raquel, that's what you should be doing. Y'all read some comments. Raquel better work it out, make it 1700 like, I'm sorry, y'all should, you gotta be making, your daily revenue minimum is 500, that's being lazy. 500 a day is lazy, but at least, at least make that happen. At least. Because, man, we can do something. It's so hard to try to. Yeah, you can pay your rent in one week. Yeah. Mortgage whatever you got you can pay your weeks like girl hair money is dope boy money that really shows my get on this but because somebody like what is it dope boy <laughs> like you <laughs> you said dope boy it is 
It is so quick, fast, and easy. If I call 10 people right now, I can make $1,000 today. And, and actually, if I call 10, I'm, I'm going to be close to 2000 I'm going to tell you right now because my average ticket be so doggone high. So, especially now because everybody ain't seen me, so they need everything. Mm -hmm. So, them tickets are going to be 150 each. Minimum. So... Teal, Raquel just told you, I love when I don't got to talk and, and somebody who already bought the class talks, that's better than me talking. Because I think, I don't know, that's just like, you want to always know from, some, from somebody who purchased. Like, ooh. Yes, girl. Make sure you give them a good side profile. Don't you put no more scissors to your head. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh, no. Because <laughs> I got to make this grow out evenly again. Give me two weeks. Mm -hmm. She'll grow back. I ain't worried. I ain't never worried about you. What day? It was. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show you. See, y'all can't be scared to comb through. Y'all be some of y'all be so scared. Don't be scared. If your style and cut is bomb, you should be able to comb through the hair. Ain't nothing wrong with combing. I don't know why I see several stylists saying no comb. What you need an award because you ain't using no comb? That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. I don't understand that. Can y'all tell me about that? They be like, I ain't using no comb. So. <laughs> does that, what does that got to do with anything? I tell you, sometimes I feel like these blacks, I'll be like, we just do too much. That's irrelevant information. As long as the client got the look they want, that's what really matter. As long as the stylists understand how to get the look that the client want, that's what really matter. Like, look how dope that is. It's just so dope. She's going to be on her picture. They're going to be like, who's her hairstylist? Damn, girl, when I walked in. <laughs> huh? I remember when I walked in. <laughs> Maybe we should do this every Tuesday, y'all. Just have fun. Tuesdays, just go live. Talk, do some hair. Hair is so therapeutic. Beauty in general is, but definitely hair. So, guys, what I'm doing is just styling out. You better sleep so cute because it's so long. Oh, you guys believe. <laughs> I'm not gonna mess my hair up. <laughs> Don't you touch nothing. I'm not. Oh, well, I'm gonna put this mirror somewhere. Oh, here. Hold on. Where is that? Hold on, y'all. You gotta look at all the different angles. You, you gotta predict a lot with your fingers after you curl it. I do. I like this part. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite part. Just kind of like, I just it's finishing. It's making sure it's so pretty. And she's back in business. So now I gotta find my TG stick. y'all a good close up I like to do this it's my favorite 
little thing here. See y'all, this is what finishing is about. Smoothness. Making sure that stuff is just so nice. Like, you know, just some of y'all would have been done. Okay, bye girl. What? <laughs> My clients are like, Keisha, I got to go. Give me, leave me alone. And I'll be like, I just need to, and this isn't, it seems like I'm putting a lot, but everything is so light. But this TG stick will make the hair, you see how everything just popping right back in place. You want the hair to pop like that Chris Brown song. Popping! Remember that song? <laughs> that was a cut. Shine, shine. She ain't working that up. I don't remember the words. But it was bomb. You can literally shape the edges. Just like we used to do with that toothbrush. Did you see this toothbrush one? With gel on it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, round about that life. <laughs> so... This gives me that effect. And I'm just going through because this is soft and it's light. But I just want to make sure that the hair is just shiny and soft and like there's no gaps and it's just pretty. Like I just want it to be like, when you say pretty, you want it to be pretty. Like I want it to be <laughs> really pretty. So spend that extra few minutes with your clients, guys. Give them all them details. Let them know, girl. I'm about to put this on there, girl. It's going to give you this effect. And they're going to be like, eh. And you're going to be like, ah. And then they're going to be like, oh. And you're going to be like, mm-hmm. So you got, <laughs> you got to tell your client, girl, this is going to make you be bomb. Then they be with you. They rocking with you. They coming back. Rhonda said, y'all don't know how to make her come back to the... <laughs> she just waited. Rhonda just waited for me to get back from Barcelona. Who I does this? Rhonda. I was like, are you back yet? <laughs> and it's, it's creepy because I never told anybody I was back. Y'all just knew. Everybody texted at the same time. I said, what's going on? What y'all doing? <laughs> yes, I said, who was talking? Oh, it was about time. And I didn't, press, I didn't put it on Facebook on purpose. Because I didn't feel like all these people were hitting me up. Oh, it was. Right. And everybody still was like, hello. <laughs> One client, I had to call her because she thought I was dead. Because I didn't have my, you know, my data was off. So oh, she was like, funny. I'm really concerned. This is not like you. <laughs> but I never saw any of her messages when I left the country. So they came in as soon as I got back. And she was just like, where are you? All right, y'all. So, as you can see, hold on, stay right there. Oh, this is annoying. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. See? Boom. Done. Now, this look is in the short hair member group, so you can do this. You can learn this right now, tonight. Shorthairbootcamplive.com. $19 a month. Easy payments. $19. Get y'all's lives. And let me put this camera down if I make it fall. And let me, let me, hold on. Let me raise this. Let me put this. Sorry, y'all. I'm all up in the camera. This is so impromptu. There we go. Now y'all can see. There you go. There we go. Y'all can see a little bit better. Yes, girl. Hello. Okay, this camera in the white. <laughs> Okay, go. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Girl, look at that back shot. Boom. Boom. What y'all thinking, YouTube? Like it up. Heart it up. Like it up. Heart it up. And so, that's it. Rhonda's finally Thank done. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Go, girl. <laughs> they said they love it get it now miss Rhonda. marjorie said get it <laughs> now see this is longer at the top and it's not looking like the girl's oh. <laughs> i'm so done i'm so done Rhonda studies other people's work and she'd be like 
No, y'all, my face look ratchet. It's, I'm tired. That was a comedy show. <laughs> they they nice. said, um, <laughs> Shy, you put some emojis, but I can't see them. Ike says, pretty. Everybody, <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Listen look here. This. Look at this. Oh my God, I got it now. And girl, my housekeeper got sick. She couldn't come. I said, girl, what am I supposed to do? I just been over here struggling because I ain't got no. What you supposed to do? I ain't cleaning up. <laughs> I'm tired. You wasn't even here anyway. I wasn't here, but hell, I need oh, organization. Like girl, she organized my clothes. She be doing everything. Wow, so look. Nice. What girl, you know Michelette is the ultimate clean. So come over here, wait. It's so fly. So and look at that, just healthy. Look, guys, just healthy. Just so fly, so fly, so fly, so fly. Okay, turn this way. I don't know what kind of song that was. Yes, girl, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Who invented the yes? <laughs> I'm going to invoice you. I'm tired. I don't feel like doing no swipey credit card stuff. I'm about to... <laughs> just just can't tell me. Right. I'll send it to you. And then I'll send it back. Okay, YouTube. Ooh, this has been... This? Girl, you want to hear me play? Girl, no, I can't. No. Oh. <laughs> you just too on point. Wow, thanks to Shine. Yes, they love it. They said you on point, girl. I know Shine is popping. Did you look in the mirror? They better practice. She said, y'all. <laughs> Rhonda said, said y'all got to practice. Damn, girl, we done practice. Let me sing y'all a song about it. Oh. All my keyboard not plugged in. Too bad. I don't feel like bending over. Okay. It's hair everywhere. You had a lot of hair on your head. Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord. I didn't know this looked like the <laughs> So anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I love live because it's just fun. I like talking to y'all. Y'all know I ain't got no, no kids. This looks great to a point. Get it now, Miss Rhonda. I love the TG Wax Stick and the upfront pomade. They love too, but those to take home. Yeah, I, I definitely retail. You definitely want to retail those um, TG Wax Sticks. Stop doing hair in the salon and wait, what? Classy, very classy. She looks bomb. They say you look amazing. Right. Teal says, I'm shocked to see you, li you live. I didn't know you could go live on YouTube. Yep. I was watching another video and you popped up, so I came on over. I love it. I like live. Actually, I just probably need to just start my own show. I don't even know what I'll just be talking about anything. My audience just have to have ADD like me because... I just like to talk about anything. Um, the TG stick is the lick. I love it, Robin. Roquel, girl, I'm going to call you, girl. I'm excited for you. You're kind and gorgeous, and so is her hair. Thank you, Robin. I'm ready. I'm definitely going to sign up. Come on, Till. Come holla at me. Till, text me, 214-675-7115. Somebody put that in the comments. 214-675-7115. All my makeup is oily off because I've been up since 3 a.m. Really, it's, look, look at the freckles. Now, only thing left is my concealer. I got freckles everywhere. Freckle, 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 freckle. They're just everywhere, freckle. Some of y'all thought my mold fake. I don't got a drum on. Anyway, that's ADD. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Let me read the comments. Um, that's why I fell off. I was working and graduations had me tied up. And I made that in a small town in South Carolina. This week is slow. Lakeisha, Ayala, I need help. I got you. Raquel, I got you. And here's the deal. If you can rake up 17 in a small town, you might need to hit that small town twice a month, boo. Putting the people on recurring payments. Um, we can totally work on that. And I have a zit forming. Why? Um, I'm so overwhelmed. It's so much to do. I'm all over the place. Just getting my salon system set up, and it's a lot of work just setting that up, but it'll be worth it once I have online booking. Yes, Till, I can help you with all of that. I can help you with all of that. Um, you should add certification. Till, what do you want certification in? Short hair boot camp or CEO stylist? You got people calling you. Huh? You got people still calling you. Mm-hmm. Girl, you know, you could go live. I could be live 24 hours. I'm on European time. I'm so thrown off on time zones. I feel like I don't think I'm going to ever go back to sleep. <laughs> Um, I need some water still. I guess I'll just go across the street. Anywho, guys. Till, what you want certificates for? I got you. Where protein treatment is better. Uh, influence all the way to the, to the day I leave. I'm repping influence until I find something better. I'm so not that loyal until something better comes along. Look at Rhonda. She's so cute. She's so cute over there. 
Hey girl, with her hairstyle. <laughs> you better work. See the professional clients. Robin says the monthly package is where it's at. Um Yeah, like um Robin used to be a monthly client. I mean Robin. <laughs> Rhonda used to be a monthly client. Why did you you, you liked monthly because what? Because it was just easy. I just pay, I know I can just get my hair done, boom, boom, boom. Easy. Girl, your hair tall like your hair with the length actually make you look like elongated. Oh, okay, good, because I need that. (laughs) It does, like for real. Your your head, it looks like I don't know, it's like it's giving you like this. It's making you look skinny. It's like slim. I I was trying to I was that's why I said (laughs) I'm like elongated. Cause if you say skinny, then somebody gonna be like, Oh, was I looking fat? Like, no, you weren't looking fat. It just looks skinny. (laughs) Honey, you got to be careful with them words. So, <laughs> every time I turn this on top, be like, oh, Lord. <laughs> Hello, you too. You too. Join my class, CEO stylist, and learn how to turn your business into a six-figure machine. And you can work anytime when you won't like me. And all of your clients eventually gonna make the same amount of money. And that means they can give you more. Which means you can make more and work less. I was dead. <laughs> you too. Okay, I'm gonna go now. If you are looking for more information, please text. 214-675-7115. I would love to be your educator, be your coach. I'll teach you how to do these short hair looks as well as how to run your business. I'm really good at it. Thank you, Teal. Thank you, thank you. You guys, text 214-675-7115. I have payment plans available for you guys. Don't count yourself out. If you want to learn business, the course is CEO stylist. If you want to learn short hair business, like if you want to learn how to do your short hair um, cutting and styling, then the course that you want to take is shorthairbootcamplive.com and it's $19 a month. And the CEO stylist, um, you can start with a payment of $367, but you can have payment plans um, if you need to break that up. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I can work it out. If you want to get help in your business, Stop stalling and saying you're going to do it again next week or every week you're making, looking for something different to happen or when I get my money right. Think about it. Kanye West made a whole song about this. Wait till I get my money right. Oh, I had a dream. I'll go. I don't know the words. <laughs> but that was the point of that song. Like, we always say, wait till we get our money right. We're not going to, you're not, you need, you need new habits. So join the class and get new habits so that the habits can support you getting your money right. Your money is not going to get right or whatever you're trying to get right. The business is not going to get right. You can double your money. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to super make your money back. Period. Point blank with the techniques. Not because I'm doing the work for you, but because I'm going to teach you things that if you go implement, you can make money. So I'm going to which class would it be? Are you rolling with me? Let me teach you how to do a haircut or maybe some curls or take my business course and let me rock your world. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to go. Remember, believe you can, and you're halfway there because it starts in the mind. It starts in the mind. Till I appreciate it, you're hired. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Remember, be full of love and never miss a chance to sparkle. Don't dim your lights because other people can't take it. I'm not for everybody, and neither are you. So if you're hanging out with me and Rhonda, hey, we're here for you. Text me, 214-675-7115. Call me. (laughs) Bye, y'all.